Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to use uh, M2M model, which is M2M100, which is uh, a neural machine translation model that uses uh, multilingual, which is uh, uh, like a model that supports a lot of language together. You can translate between 100 pairs of uh, language and uh, it can be used uh, with a lot of languages as we can see here and the language code so you can actually translate from between any two pairs of uh, this language for example you can translate from uh, english to french and from french to english and so on <laughs> so it is actually easy to use it and i'm going to show you how to uh use this uh, m2m uh 100 and uh how to uh create that uh example in um google collab as we can see here i put a, a first cell as a example link and here we need to get the uh, model and we have actually two models here so we are using the one with um, 1.2 1.2 video uh, parameters i think uh, sorry uh, it is 12 billion not 1.2 so this is actually uh the second model we have two models we have a small one and we have uh, the big one. so this is a small one and this is a big one so it is up to you uh, to perform like the translation on the ones that you want and uh, for this I'm using uh, this part to uh, download the model so normally uh, the model uh, takes time to be downloaded because actually uh, it is big inside that's why uh, we need to wait for a while until it is uh, done then after the uh, download we are going to uh, on this model which means that we will uh, remove the compression in order to be used and so we need actually uh, to download that one which is a kind of uh, a file that has information about the model so We will also need to install uh, these libraries, C Translate 2, Versic, and Sentence Piece. So, after we are done, we can just restart the uh, runtime. And then, after restarting, we just can import and without any problem. So, here is actually uh, what we are going to do. So, for example, let's uh, upload a file that we have um so we have here uh sample text okay so is that sample text we have actually it's just like uh english uh sentences we want to translate this uh from english to french for example or to arabic or whatever language you want so i'll use if r as french you can see here that we have uh the french as if r and then if you want to use like a gpu because uh that process will be quite uh slow so you need to uh use the runtime type change it and then change it to gpu Anyway, I will leave um, a kind of uh, a copy of this uh, 
notebook so you can reuse it so you can actually use uh, cpu so let's try to use coda here and this is from english to french we need actually also to uh update the name of the file that we are going to translate this this is will be like sample text okay all right for this and then uh after we are sure that we're going to uh, translate all this and everything like this is a target file path this is a file that you will find the translation in we can run and save this and here we can use what we already said to uh generate the translation so i actually made an experimentation with that one uh yeah i hear i i think here we have a problem with that so let's turn it back to cpu let's try again So in my experimentation, actually, I tried CPU. I didn't try GPU, but with CPU it worked. Not sure uh, why it failed. I will just uh, see this later. But for the purpose of this tutorial, it works fine on CPU. It tries to apply like, getting the tokenization of the first sentence. So let's do a lot of tokens as we see here in the print and then we should find actually a kind of this target file as a file that has a translation and now it is done so this is our target test file actually it got uh, translated so we have here actually a, a translation between uh, the two languages from English into uh, French. So we actually can make another experimentation by using uh, this target uh, test to uh, translate it from French to English. Actually, let's say this is two, and we want to translate from French into English. Let's check it. So, as I mentioned, that I tried uh, to translate bet uh, between uh, the two languages from uh, English into Arabic, and actually, um, I didn't like the results. It was like uh, not that much accurate, but I believe it would perform better with like European language, like French, Spanish, and Italian language, things like they are similar to English, it will perform better with them. So we have test two, let's check test two. So let's check. Okay, let's download this one. And let's uh, compare between uh, this one and our original uh, sample text so this is the original uh, text then we translated it uh, into French and from French we got it back into English so you can like find that they are mostly similar okay yeah so they are mostly similar despite that there is a loss happens in the information when the translation is done this is because the uh, nature of the language and the nature of the translation itself. so i think it is uh, pretty fine if you want to use it on your website or your service something like this and uh stay tuned for the next videos because i will uh, try to get other uh nlb videos
So stay tuned and I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and see you soon.